It's, oh, this is also a good one. What's best to eat before a fight and how long before? Uh, and this, is, uh, this, this question comes from Harjit Singh. And yeah, so Boss and Beam, take that before the fight and then let's uh, get Kasim on uh, pregame yeah, as well. It's probably the same. For me, it's really well, like uh, pasta, pasta, you know, I won't eat I won't eat five, six hours for a fight. I mean, I, you know, maybe longer than that. But definitely pasta and, and some carbs. Yeah. I, I do potatoes. No, not it's just potatoes, but I can eat a freaking pan full. And same like you. I do at least four hours, five hours. So I want it completely to be digested before I go in. And I can do also, I can drink two and a half cups or maybe three cups of oatmeal. But also I do this a couple hours before. And then in between, I only drink water. No sweets, no nothing. Keep the body completely relaxed and stretch like a sim does. Stretching is a lot, you know, and especially in martial arts or in any sport where you have to breathe. <clears throat> because I always talk about this, right? But the, your, your chest expansion, this is how you breathe, right? That's opens up your lungs. But if you did a lot of weight training, all these muscles are going to be tight. It's very hard to expand a lot. So the more you stretch yourself and your upper body and your, the ribs in between the ribs, the intercostals, the more expansion you have, the easier for you becomes to breathe. You know, a lot of people forget that. I knew guys who would do oh. back pressing the day before the fight. I go, dude, that's the dumbest thing that you do. Like 10 days before, you don't want, to, don't want to do any power training anymore. Keeping it loose, keeping it loose, keeping it loose. That's everything. Stretching, stretching, stretching. So I'm 100% on board with Kasim as well. Yeah, for me, pregame, I would do uh, the night before is when I would start my nutrition, where I go two to one protein to carbs. So I load up on protein the night before. Let your body get into a deep rest to have a lot of proteins reserves so that you can start stacking those reserves and you build the channels and you wake up in the morning, you go two to one carbs to protein. So you have more carbs to start to go on those reserves you had from the night before the protein and starts getting that protein synthesis linked into you can start building the long branch chain amino acids into the muscles. So you're actually recovering as you're expending energy. So you just do a little role reversal where you go heavy protein the night before, then heavy carbs in the morning to get that protein synthesis going. And how many hours is your la- before the, the showdown is your last meal? Oh, four hours for me. Yeah, see, yeah. also, we just hold you over there. That's good. I saw yeah. guys on the day of the fight eating burgers with their entire, their entire gym. No, burgers and burgers, fries. And I, I, I wanted to say something, but I thought I'm not going to do it because then I'm going to maybe it be inside their head. Because then they start thinking about how bad that is for you. Yeah. It's gonna, so I figured, you know, probably they did it before. Especially when the coach is also eating burgers. I go, dude, it's the most insane thing I've ever seen. I've seen, oh, Marker, he would eat chocolate before yeah. the, he would have a bag, a Ziploc bag with freaking MMs and you name it. And he 